Go ahead. You're good good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <clears throat> How was your weekend, everybody? Absolutely. Josh, did you give me your coral coat sheet? Oh, one moment. Can we hit pause, please? Um, go ahead. Just go ahead. It's faster just to let it run. <laughs> well, while I'm getting re ready here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do a straight out run through. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a stretch session. Since we've been sitting for the past 25 minutes just to wake every one of you up. <laughs> All right, stretch to a stretch either direction, right or left, whichever you choose. <laughs> Now, the opposite direction from the earth choose. You said what direction I'm going. It's not being different, Um, Stretch down, see if you can touch your toes. If not, that's okay, too. I'm not going to hold you to it. Let's roll back up. You can make it. Slowly. Roll your shoulders if you can. <laughs> and if you need to roll your arms, you can to get unloose. Because the last thing you want in your rehearsal is to be all tense. And it doesn't matter where you are, what position you have. Okay, um, now we're going to do single tone dynamics. This is very important in this piece. Because you'll see in this piece, there are dynamic markings. In your comfortable octave, I'm going to have one note in the span of three different positions. Mm -hmm. Middle C, please. Mm -hmm. uh, ready? Sing, and I think we're going to remain standing so, so I cannot catch any of you falling asleep. <laughs> and if I catch you getting the wrong note, we're not tired. I'm going to cut off and. We didn't have a concert yesterday. No. <laughs> four, four hour rehearsal. <laughs> Anyways, um, <clears throat> there is no rose su of such virtue as is the rose that bear Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For when this rose containeth was heaven and earth in little space, Rasmiranda, Mesmiranda, by that rose we may well see there be one God in persons three, Pardes forma, Pardes forma. The angels sung the shepherds to Gloria in Excelsis, Gloria in Excelsis Deo. Grande amus, grande amus. The gaudiamus? Gaudi gaudiamus. Gaudiamus. Thank you, Dr. Klein. It's fine. Le leave me all this worldly mirth and follow we this joyful birth. Trance amus, trance amus, trance amus. Hallelujah. Res okay. Resmiranda. 
Paralyzed Warma, Garde Armus, Transe Armus, Transe Armus, Transe Armus. Which means take us away. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Martin. <laughs> what am I singing? So, I've read Please. through the text in normal t terms, so everybody gets a feel for the text. And I'm pretty certain we should all know this by now. Without any further delay, I was getting lost. Okay. I I did not want to conduct the wrong path. Okay. So if he starts doing that, then we we are up to us to continue to feel that pulse. Okay. That yes. At this point, um, if I have to beat for whatever reason, it's gonna be up to you to keep the pattern going. Okay. We can do that. okay. Can we start it then again from? Um, Let's start at the top the, of twelve, maybe. I'm gonna start with. One beat, one measure for nothing.
cut off. Good cut off. Now, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I, I'd like yeah. you to think about that fermata at the end. Yes. In and of its own, it should be held for how many beats? I should Four. Four. double Six. minus. Yeah. So you're going to hold it longer. But what, I want to do one thing with this, if you all will, will entertain me on this. I'd like the whole choir to hold their music in their right hand. And I want all of us to be with Josh in our left hand. This means face him. That means that we're mirror imaging his right hand. And let's see if that will help us all stay together. Does that sound like a plan? I would like, I was going to ask if you were going to do, ask that too. Okay, well let's just try it. And let's see if that can help us all find the downbeat. And um, as long as you're doing your left hand, it means you have to think opposite what you normally would do. Yeah. Any so struggle notes this time yeah. or no? no? Let's all practice yeah, beating yeah. with our four pattern with a left hand. It's going to be one, one and in, in. Okay. out, in. up. One, in. Okay. Uh, can you do that? Oh, helps that I'm left hand. Yeah. I know, Dana. You <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, this is a great. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. let's give this a shot and try it all the way through again and see if that will help us all stay together better. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna start with you, Josh. You you set the tempo. One, two, one, two, three, four. One. Is this measure one? This is measure two. Anything that goes on. And this is a common problem 
with most of us. Yeah. But majority of us, yeah, basically. For some, it's a little harder because it involves, actually, you're involving two sides of the brain when you do this. Mm -hmm. And this is one reason why a lot of times when, um, when children might have uh, disabilities or issues that involve brain damage, even at a very young age, they'll be taken through what are considered, are called patterning exercises, where it's cross-lateral, cross-lateral, because by moving cross-laterally, you're engaging both sides of the brain. That's one reason I've shown you all this exercise before to do to get the brain going. Anything. So what's happening here is he's having to engage two sides of the brain to make this happen, mm -hmm. and um, and it's a challenge to do. That's why we have to practice it. But it's just like when you were learning to play piano and your left hand had to do something different than your right hand. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, when that happened, light bulbs went off, <laughs> and suddenly you could do that. But it's a kinesthetic thing. It's a kinesthetic thing, and that's why and a very similar method when I practice the organ too. Yes, it is. But the thing that that we were doing here first of all, was helping him get that midline crossed so that he could maintain that beat pattern by a visual cue while still working with his other hand to give cues for other things. And of course, dynamic levels up and down are also a challenge like that. Um, this is something that, that ev every one of us is going to be different at. The key for each of you is to know your strengths and your weaknesses. And for Josh, your weakness is what? You tell me. What is it? The movement. Yes, getting the the physical big, that's movement. That's the big thing with me. It is, getting both <laughs> arms to do something different. Yeah. So that means for you, that's a huge, it's like practice. You just have to do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Um, Good thing I know my head cues. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and you may be better off using head cues, mm -hmm. because if, yeah. you can, if you can slightly nod your head or give a, yes, John? Well, I can wait until you're finished, but I wanted to offer Josh a suggestion. Good, go ahead. Mm -hmm. If you want to cue my last chord, you can use the, the prior rest to give a preparatory beat right. to give the key for me. So bring bring up your hand. Cue, your I'm like hand. I'm gonna do more head cueing and less left hand cueing. So so he's not necessarily gonna see that. Yeah, the, the left the, hand's gonna be strictly hey Josh, for the piano. What at this he's point. saying is three measures from the end. Okay, three measures. Just give him a one cue, just a downbeat. You can just a one, right? Four. One. one. Yeah, and you may end up getting that cue from his right hand. Okay. Okay. Let him just take it from the right hand. Uh, could I? Because almost. Okay. We can we run it one I'm more gonna, time? I'm gonna do a motivation right there just to make it a little easier for John to well, see. I'm gonna play it anyway. But if you want to give me the cue, I'm just, <laughs> just trying to give you. Now a let's look for a second at at the half note. Half note value according to the marking at the top of the page is what? It's a 60. So we all have a watch, right? Because Dr. Klein mandated we buy one. I have. This is 60. That's 60. Right, so we're way too slow. We're dying on these braces. So one, so if you're going to beat it in a four, it needs to be one, two, three. So it's a faster, smaller pattern. Can we try that one? Maybe if I... One, yes, almost not even any arm, Josh. One, just, two, yes. two, okay, let's try it at this tempo. Okay, I'm going to be beating time with Josh. He's going to do a faster four, and he's going to do a. I'm going to attempt to do a faster four, so. And a smaller beat pattern with basically his hands. It's almost hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We have time. <clears throat> two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, 
time. So, excellent. Okay, we have two more people up on Wednesday, the last two, right? 25 minutes each, and then start.